Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. How are you today? This is your top secret cross watchers video in which we look at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions with you. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna, and this is Irish Donna Tarot. So let's get started with your reading. Welcome all new visitors. Hope everyone's doing well, and thank you to all of my beautiful supportive subscribers. I'm so grateful. Look at you, Scorpio. Look at this. They feel as though you could be the one. You are their happy place. Woo, that's powerful opener. Okay, now we have a little bit thornier issue here. The Seven of Swords, it looks as though they told you a lie, and now they're feeling as though they need to backtrack and clarify. So your person feels guilty about something. They feel like they lock themselves out of the door, that somehow that whenever they come back to tell you something they didn't tell you, uh, that you may just put them in the cold, okay? You might lock them out. So let's see, Scorpio, what are their feelings in their heart space? That's very powerful energy. That is Ten of Cups, Happily Ever After, Sun card, Happiest card in the deck. We have Leo and Pisces energy. We also have Taurus energy, and we also have uh, uh, Aquarius energy. In their heart space, they want to invest. That's Taurus energy. That's your seventh house of Taurus. Six of Swords, it looks as though in their heart space, they feel as though they're still on a lone journey from something. In their heart space, they do want to offer you a cup of love, but I would say your person's in the process of having to get over another relationship, one that they thought would last, and I feel as though they see you as possibly a new person with whom they will fall very deeply in love, and they sort of have started that process with you, but there's still some remnants of the past haunting the situation as I'm looking at this. Let's see what their intentions are with you, Scorpio. Look at that. Scorpio, there you are in your reading. Six of Cups, okay. So let's see what else we have here. What else do they intend with you? Ooh, they want to make love all night long. Some Sagittarius energy. This is more player energy. It, it's energy that says they're not ready to settle down. I would say for most of you, you've caught this person maybe on the rebound. For some, not all, of course. Okay, so what else do we have for their intentions with you? Ooh, they're manifesting you. Ooh, Scorpio, they have some tricks up their sleeves. Ooh, we're going to have the clarification on this one should be a lot of fun. All right, and then their actions. What is this person going to do that you'll witness? Five of Swords. They're feeling as though they messed up for sure because the Seven of Swords is reversed. So your person knows that they have to make amends, okay? Yep, the Justice card. They have to bring honesty, integrity. They have to bring balance to the situation. They have to be fair to you. I like this person in the cards. I really do. I feel like this is a very sincere person who, you know, got themselves into a little trouble with you. Uh, the Nine of Coins, though, they, they definitely, for now, see themselves as single and ready to mingle. They're not really ready to make any kind of commitment, but I do see them wanting to have romance with you, wanting to spend time with you. I do like the Six of Cups because they do see you. They're intending to manifest more with you, but not defining it right away. They don't want to put a label on anything. So let's see what we have. I do think this is a fairly new relationship for some of you. For others of you, it may be a relationship in which a love returns. Could be a marriage in which, you know, somebody decides they shouldn't have left. Take it as it resonates. So there's, there's different plot lines here for sure. Let's see. Okay, why is the Ten of Cups here? Ah, this person is making big moves. This is a person that I see that is very commitment-oriented now. It looks as though they, they think of you. Their thoughts are that you could be someone that they could love forever because the two of you have so much fun together. The winner... <laughs> okay, let me explain why I'm laughing, okay? We see that they told 
what looks like they didn't tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I wouldn't say that they actually lied to you, but I do think that they were more in love possibly with somebody from the past. And now that's very much over. They're moving ahead. They moved away. If they were living with the person, they moved out. But there, I don't see any crossover. I see this as a rebound lover from a different relationship for the most part, that's come in and now created a situation in which they wanted to win, winner, winner, chicken dinner, and now they feel like, oh, I don't get the victory. I don't, you know, I'm going to look really foolish. I'm going to look sort of like a fool, uh, or worse yet. <laughs> oh, we could use the D word. Uh, so anyway... They feel as though they are looking at things from a different perspective. I feel very much that they're strategizing with that hanged man card about to have come, how to come towards you, how to come to you in the right way, how to uh, clarify anything that could have been misunderstood or that they misspoke in the future or the past, excuse me. And they're going to do that in the future. So that's their thoughts. Their heart space is that they are investing in you, but they still have feelings for the person from the past. The Three of Swords says that this person is haunting them from the past. Let's see, in their heart space, they're moving away from their troubles. They're moving into love energy with you. They are a little bit guarded right now with their heart. Makes sense though, right? It does. But look at this, Scorpio, you must be doing something that really excites them, that you're engaging with them, they feel like they want to talk to you, wonderful! They're leaving their past behind and they're coming into this love with you. As it, This is almost like the clarifier actually from this. You know, when we look at that, they left somebody behind, they're moving forward, they're in a better state of mind, and they definitely want to have a passionate beginning with you. But they're all, this person's very romantic, very sweet, very kind. Planning a picnic, planning some nice times for the two of you. Why is the Six of Cups here, soulmate of the Minor Arcana? Look at that. They feel as though it is possible that you could be the one that they would make a commitment with. They could see, they de this person is definitely a loyal person and believes in being faithful, okay? So I don't see this as energy of in and out. This person looks as though they're stable. Yep, here we go. Even within the parameters of in and out, you know, very sexy, very flirty, very good looking energy of Sagittarius, we still have Virgo, you know, which is bringing this person into an alignment with being faithful. You know, just very, very faithful, very practical. You do get them revved up, though, Scorpio. You get this person turned on very much so. They feel the chemistry. I've often felt for many years as a reader that the Magician card really speaks volumes to the chemistry that you can feel with a partner, and that's what I get with them. Oh my God, <laughs> how can we do that? We get the magician. It's almost like they're secretively trying to get you under their spell or they're secretly under your spell and they don't want to tell you. But, oh, look at that. They do feel as though the chemistry is mutual with the double magician card. Oh, they're running towards you. All right, really, you know, stages of life. It looks like you met them at a stage in life when they had just ended something. I saw that, okay. Okay, so the Five of Swords is what they're actually going to do. And this Five of Swords relates to, oh brother, I caused some trouble. What did I cause here? Yep, looking for answers yet again. That's the Hermit card, that's Virgo energy. Being very honest, they wanna be very straightforward with you. Ah, oh, they feel as though they weren't fair to you. They feel as though they weren't fair to you when they approached you romantically because they weren't totally over the relationship and they didn't really tell you that. So let's see. This is what they're going to do. So they're not going to approach you romantically again until they tell you the truth. So they are going to share that with you. They're going to come clean, so to speak. They're going to fix this. 
and two of cups look at that they definitely want to spend time with you they see you as a a kindred spirit somebody with whom they could really fall in love and that they probably will fall in love with and we have that they are fearful your person's fearful they see you as being very very successful they see you as very single they see you as a person who came to them in exactly the right way so the remorse and regret they're going to set it straight oh i like your person scorpio i really do i feel as though there was certainly no ill intent i feel as though they stumbled into meeting you sooner than they were planning and I feel very much that they were on the rebound and that they didn't mean to really, no harm, no foul. Waking the lion. This person has a lot of pride. They have a lot of pride and a lot of dignity. And that is Leo energy, spirit of gratitude. This is a good person. You know, they, they're they not going to, to leave you in a situation where you have to really wonder about what's going on with them so they are going to come clean they really didn't it was their intention they just thought you would be sort of a person who passed through their lives but look at this is uncharted territory all right scorpio i love this reading for you send some feedback put some comments down below please because i really need to know what the details are behind your individual stories sending you love bye bye scorpio